Arvind Kejriwal promises free water supply of 700 litres per day for Delhiites within 24 hours of taking over as Chief Minister on Saturday. Lieutenant Governor asks Kejriwal to prove his majority by 3rd of January. Coal Ministry seeks explanation from Jindal Steel, Tata Steel, Hindalco and five other companies for delay in commencing production from mines allocated to them. An Ahmedabad court likely to pronounce a judgment on Zakia Jafri's plea protesting closure report, a special investigation team in 2002 riots case. The report gives clean chit to Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi in the case. News portal Gulal.com releases a set of fresh 39 tapes which shows that phone conversations of Gujarat women architect were even tapped in Bengaluru. Congress demands probe against Amit Shah and Narendra Modi. Army orders court-martial against six personnel, including one colonel rank officer in the Machil fake encounter case in Jammu and Kashmir. The encounter took place in 2010. State civil services officers will now have to face a UPSC test and interview for their promotion to the three All India services including IAS, IPS and Indian Forest Services. Department of Personnel and Training has made the changes in the rules. The United States says employment of domestic workers to be on agenda for bilateral talks from now on. Devyani Khobragade's lawyer says US officials goofed up the investigation leading to the arrest of the Indian diplomat. Bank deposits grow 17% year-on-year as on 13th December due to higher mobilization. Growth attributed to Reserve Bank of India special swap window for foreign currency for non-residence deposits. Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan announces a major cabinet reshuffle after three ministers resigned over corruption charges. Erdogan names 10 new ministers after talks with President Abdullah Gul. Egypt's military-backed interim government declares Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization, blames it for last Wednesday's suicide bomb attack on a police station that killed 16 persons. In South Sudan, the situation remains grim due to civil war. The UN resolution addresses Indian concerns over hardships faced by Indian soldiers in the peacekeeping force. India lost seven of its soldiers this year in South Sudan. In Iraq, at least 44 were killed across the nation in attacks, including bombs that exploded in a market near a church in Baghdad. Flooding causes chaos across parts of Britain when tens of thousands of homes remain without electricity after a severe storm and hurricane hit the country. In Brazil, intense rain and flash flooding forces over 40,000 people to leave their homes in the southeastern Brazilian state of Espirito Santo. Russia drops charges against Greenpeace Arctic crew. The 30 crew members aboard a Greenpeace ship were detained in September. They were released on bail in November. Pope Francis calls for humanitarian aid access in Syria and social harmony in South Sudan on his first Christmas in the Vatican. Pope also called for peace in other troubled parts of the world. After sharing the honours in a thrilling draw, India and South Africa will renew the exciting battle for supremacy in the series, deciding second and final cricket test match starting at Durban today. African all-rounder Jacques Carles to retire from Test cricket after second match against India beginning today in Durban. Carles is considered as one of the greatest all-time all-rounder of the world. Mohammad Hafiz's third century and brilliant bowling uh, by Saeed Azmal helps uh, Pakistan reach Sri Lanka in the fourth ODI. 
Pakistan takes unbeatable lead of 3-1 in the series. The ninth anniversary of a deadly earthquake and tsunami that struck South Asia, claiming the lives of over 2,38,000 people and leaving almost 2 million homeless is being observed today.